Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sut it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Just night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ha <laughs> ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van der Neu and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little uh, keep his soul. But, Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. White gold and mother of pearl with topaz incense, sold to Madame Vilpin. Dress of harky silk trimmed with amethyst beads, I have a starting price of 2,000 crowns. <laughs> <laughs> this one probably also belongs to sorceress. Fetish, maybe? Beautiful, but first blow would shatter them. from the collection of the mage Aramis. Codex Redaniensis, sole surviving copy. Hmm, a giant's, or maybe a Jotun's. Sold to Madame Dress of harky silk trimmed with amethyst beads. Zeracanian spears, excellent adornments for any parlor wall. <laughs> Good to know. Goblet of fire. Wonder what it is. Geralt, you thought of buying real estate. Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimmy. What about in Kaviri marks? Come on. You know damn well that makes no sense. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Quent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> oh, smell it, Geralt. That's the center coin.
Is it my imagination, or does Baronet Lupin look a bit out of sorts today? You've not heard. His sawmill has gone up in smoke. Some knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose, they say. Sign of poor Sodi, perhaps. Yaramir, uh, might we trouble ye a wee spell? Mm hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first, they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Piece, if I'm not mistaken. You err deeply. I bid you adieu. What a jackass. Yeah, fuck him. Typical arse cunt. I've grown accustomed. Funny. Duke Clivet declared bankruptcy by that ring on his finger. Shite, is it fat? Vivaldi, perusing the room for any and all to fleece. Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. 
Dinna ye say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%, a modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. Spilled wine, nothing else. Mm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me, I. God, this is so embarrassing. Do. Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. 
But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Fesimir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me, did he at least die like a witcher? No, he died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now... Be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. That's Gerard of Rinby. Huh. I've heard All many so tales. You think the room was full of horses? Your pardon? Oh, smell it, Geralt. That's the scent of coin. Halbert, it's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helmut. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb! Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so... Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around? Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, may I have a wee word? What is it? 
Well, mate, see as I brought yous together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. I find this for you as soon as you can. Mm-hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my trade, friend. Coin did a stink. So, what'll it be? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. 10% of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a 15? Don't push it, Vimy. All right. Game on.
Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have or something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Before Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Esteemed ladies, honourable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways. Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Horse Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! Knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumour one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Going once? Twice? Going thrice? The Honourable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going. Countess Mignol at 350 going once, twice. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes. At 20, do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold! Van Rose starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. <laughs> Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice, Brilliant! With the gentleman with the white hair now at 350. What? I didn't. 350 once. 350 twice. And three, four! 400 now with Countess Mignol. Any advance on that? Going once, twice, thrice, and sold! The professor's spectacles go to the Countess. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound, please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look! Horst Masudi! Come on, afford some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome.
Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia. Who comes uninvited? But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you. An itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen! No reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you. Where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hemelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Whoop them, lads! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Wolf Pop's got teeth. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though. So you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. Uh, how do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. I don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know where you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope.
Long live Radovid! White one. Isn't gonna peek at my wares, yeah? Can I get you, good sir? I have everything from apples to zander. Paper, please. A bottle of ink. Oh, I I'm out of paper. The requisition by the hour. This is side the of the time. Paper? For the war end. You know, all those announcements, ordinances and decrees must appear on something. His Majesty King Radovid is a stern ruler, but a just one. Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Let me have a look.
Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract? I do. In the back. Follow me, please. You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shithole otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow. You won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in, or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Persodi's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist, or not? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You're in or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. 
20 Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars, but not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower, from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Looks bleak to me. Tower walls smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and- And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker or a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job, I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm -hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? Aye, but that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it, I'm in. But on one condition, no one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi. Native of Mahakam, a specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt, Peter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plane turns down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back <laughs> by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. <laughs> so I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. 
precisely why my favorite ever line gallo. A circus artist no better as <laughs> Just now performing with a troop somewhere near Oxford. The specialities. Original gymnastics. <laughs> Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the router troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But it is reluctant with another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty, a halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felt monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town all in November. So, yeah. Word has it is holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Noble Grand Gate. Be careful. It's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. Alright, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done. We'll meet back here. What then? Then we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways. All together, 